Hey, how are yins doing? My name is BCP here, and today I am going to be bringing you guys a commentary over some Call of Duty 4 gameplay. Uh, the video before this was Call of Duty 4 as well, but this is the beginning of a new series. Um, but before I explain that, I'm just going to talk about the gameplay real quick. The first one, I get like one or two kills, and the game ends. Uh, it's like hacked, kind of. There was like, if you qu went regular, it was slow, but if you sprinted, it was super fast. And the other gameplay, it's just a 32 to like 10 or something uh, TDM. Because it's kind of hard to get gameplays on Call of Duty 4 because of all the hackers, so you have to play TDM. Uh, but today, I'm going to be starting a new series. Uh, it's not like a series that can continue on forever. It's basically the things that we love slash hate in every single Call of Duty, from Call of Duty 4 all the way to the newer Call of Duty, which right now is Black Ops 2. But I will do, maybe do it for Ghosts, and if I continue to play Call of Duty after that. Um, the series was inspired by Blah Blah Blah, or his official name is Blah Blah Blah1978. Um, he's a really cool guy. He's a really awesome commentator. I hope he watches this to please, please Bob, come play, do some more commentaries. Uh, he quit Call of Duty uh, the last two months or something, and he's playing this new other little game. Uh, but you guys should check him out. I'll put his link in the description. Um, so just letting you know, the first Call of Duties I didn't play Call of Duty 4 or at, or at all. I got in, into it at Black Ops 1 and and W2. I just I just played a lot of it, like four or five days worth for, in like the last year. So I know my stuff about that, so we're just going to get on right into it for the for number five, for the things that we love, is the maps. Um, now, there's a lot of Call of Duties where there's those maps where you hate and you back out specifically because of the maps. Like in Black Ops, I could just think, like, no one wants to play Kowloon. Every time I say Kowloon, I'd try to back out, definitely. Call of Duty 4, there's really no maps. And it could also be because I'm ex I don't know the maps as well, uh, but from what I've seen in all videos and everything there's really no map that everyone hated and it's not like um mw2 or mw3 where you're going for like the moab so or the nuke so you want to get a map specifically for that so the maps in my opinion were really good they were really balanced of course i think there was like bog or something was really unbalanced on with domination but really other than that are uh, they really good and like i said i've been able to play another game out besides cdm because of all the hackers so I've not really only experienced TDM, but for right now, uh, as far as I've seen, the maps are really, really balanced. Uh, number four is kill streaks, but I'm gonna elaborate on this. The kill streaks was three five seven. It was UAV, uh, airstrike, and helicopter. Yeah, I was thinking it was airstrike and helicopter, and then that's it. You know, you get, if you get a 25 kill streak, good for you. You don't get anything else after the attack helicopter. <laughs> Pat yourself on the back for that 25 kill streak. You don't get anything for it. Um, and the kill streaks kind of, you could say they they definitely help the game because it's not like now where you're going for the Moab or the nuke or you want to get your dogs, so you got to camp this last two kills out. You know, it made not as much campers, and it made you could say the game pace. You could say the game pace is more sped up because people weren't camping for high kill streaks, and you can't really go back because of that. It's the same word at war, but I'm not going to put this in the word at war one because it's just uh just doesn't make sense so the kill streaks kind of help the game pace and everything like that number three um this could be higher or lower i ranked at number three this is the simplicity of the game now now it's like literally this game has like one half of what black ops 2 has you know compared to it it's just a three five seven kill streaks just a couple attachments you know leveling up to 10th prestige level 55 uh, and that's basically you can't reset your stats but it's just the simplicity that got people into the game, you know? It's just like the best things in life are free. Like, what's better than sitting outside on the patio, I don't know, with your family, talking with your family, or watching the stars at night in the summer when you were a kid? You know, there's nothing better than the simplicity and the lower stuff that you get. Uh, so that's definitely a big one uh, for this game. And uh, for World at War 2, but I'm not going to put that again because they're uh, pretty similar. So, yeah, number two, uh, which is kind of goes to number four, like I said, is the balance of the game. This game was extremely balanced. Now, people are going to scream and complain. Not necessarily like scream, but bitch and complain about Juggernaut. Oh, my God, fucking Juggernaut. But when you think about it, if you have stopping power and he has Juggernaut, you cancel each other out. You know, if it takes, instead of four bullets, it takes three because you have stopping power. But if it took four and he had Juggernaut, it'd be five cancels each other up up to four so it's not really like uh, anything you know it's affected you each have an advantage cancel each other out 
you know, and if you wanted to go stealthy, uh, you use that, what's it called, UAV jammer, I think, I'm not exactly sure, you guys can, uh, clarify that if you want, I'm pretty sure UAV jammer is caught for, you can use that to be stealthy, but, the thing is, is, uh, you're not gonna be able to, uh, win a one-on-one -on -one gunfight as much as if you had the other two perks, and also, uh, the suppressor seemed to be really balanced in this game, I, I, I don't know what it is, it's just, I'm always a suppressor type guy, I like to be stealthy, and I don't, people always complain, oh, ghost this, ghost that, assassin this, well, if you're rushing, and you're not just camping in a corner, I don't mind it, I like to be stealthy, I like to use my SMGs and sometimes assault rifles with my silencer, you know, get in the action, um, if I'm not going for, like, a, a Moab or a nuke or something, if I'm just running regular, regular kill streaks. I'm gonna rush in there with the silence it's gonna be stealthy, but in this game, you pay a price for it. In the other Call of Duties, you really don't. From Black Ops 1, Black Ops, or, uh, yeah, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, and MW3, you don't pay a price, because there is no stopping power. There's nothing to counter that stealthiness perk. Um, and I'll just elaborate on the suppressor I was talking about. Is it just seems in this game that with the suppressor, the range and damage seem to drop off a lot more than any other Call of Duty. I know for sure the suppressor. Uh, does something with damage or range, but in this in uh, in every other Call of Duty, it just seems it doesn't do anything. In this game, you can definitely tell, um, except maybe the M4 was really good with suppressor. But other than that, almost every I mean, like I I use Red Dot now or something like that because the suppressor really really does affect it. Um, and for number one, I'm gonna say is this is the game that got Call of Duty up there. You can say the other Call of Duties were kind of you know, good. I heard Call of Duty. 2, I think, was pretty big, um, but this is Call of Duty where it exploded, you know, but now you see the people who played a lot of Call of Duty 4, they tend not to play anymore, they literally quit playing Call of Duty the last couple years, MW2 and up is where you see the people now, but because of Call of Duty 4, the game exploded, you know, and you guys can, uh, tell me different or not, uh, you know, tell me your opinions, what's your favorite Call of Duty, this is the Call of Duty that made it boom. You know, with the multiplayer, with the next-gen consoles. And uh, that is basically it for me. Um, I would also uh, like to say that uh, I this is my fourth time doing this commentary. Uh, two were interrupted by a phone. And one, someone uh, knocked on the door, and I was like, fucking bitch. So, yeah, and also I don't think I, I, don't think I have audio in this gameplay either because I was playing with a friend, and I can't do it with my microphone. Nothing I can do about that, guys. I'm sorry. But other than that, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And make sure to click that like button, comment, and subscribe to be the coolest kid in skew. I'm out, guys. Bye.